and gentlemen, please rise. remain standing as the Georgian Bay Children's Choir, led by conductor Jennifer Potter, leads us in O Canada. Thank you, you may be seated. Good evening, honored guests, family members, and friends. My name is Ruth Corsi and I am the city manager for the city of Owen Sound, and it is my pleasure to be your master of ceremonies this evening. Welcome to the inaugural meeting and swearing in ceremony for the newly elected city council for the corporation of the city of Owen Sound. To start, 
I would like to thank the 8th Street Orchestra under the leadership of Gary Lawrence Murphy for their wonderful prelude this evening. I'm sure many of you recognize them as they have played at several special events around this town. We will have another opportunity to enjoy their Dixieland style street music at the close of our evening. I would also like to acknowledge our piper, Emma Prescott, who has been playing the bagpipes since the age of 12. Emma had the honor of piping at the Canadian War Memorial at Vimy Ridge. Also a very special thank you to the Royal Canadian Legion Branch Number no. 6, Color Party, led by Sergeant Colin Hudson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is the beginning of a new term of council. For some, a brand new adventure. For others, a continuation of their public service to this community. I would like to spend a few moments highlighting the benefits we have had and continue to have in this country, this province, and this city. All of us in this room have had a lifestyle and opportunities unprecedented in many parts of our world today. Our quality of life is recognized as being in the top 10 in the world by the United Nations year after year. We have grown up with a stable, representative, and democratic government at all levels. We have safe communities without the fear of civil unrest or war. We have free access to most health care. We have free education through high school and then subsidized post-secondary education in locations close to our homes and of top quality. That has led us to have one of the highest literacy rates in the world and we have a very highly educated and trained workforce. We have well-managed and maintained infrastructure, including such local services as roads, sewers, water, parks, etc. Few of us have ever been hungry or lacked adequate housing or clothing. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees that each of us has equal rights and opportunities and freedom from discrimination. In short, we are blessed to live in a country with so much. Sure, we have some challenges nationally. We've got Mike Duffy, my favorite Don Cherry, and of course we have an overabundance of Canada geese, most of them in Harrison Park in the spring. We also live in a province that has an amazing abundance of services, opportunities, and natural resources. The Great Lakes system provides water throughout our entire province and many states. The Niagara Escarpment is world renowned. We have amazing parks, including such as Algonquin and Fathom Five National Marine Park in our backyard. And we have the Bruce Trail that runs through our city. Again, we do have some challenges provincially. We've got Justin Bieber. <laughs> and unfortunately, we have the Leafs. <laughs> and a bit of an inside joke, we have Ontario Hydro. Most importantly, however, we live in an amazing location and in an outstanding city with so many incredible assets. Some examples include Harrison Park, which is over 100 years old and has been lovingly maintained by the past and current generations. We have the Own Sound Harbor with its surrounding park system, walkways, and of course, the docking for the Chichimon. We have the Tom Thompson Art Gallery, world renowned today. The Own Sound and North Gray Union Public Library, a Carnegie Library built over 100 years ago. More recently, we have the Julie MacArthur Regional Recreation Center. We have the Gray Bruce Health Services Owen Sound Hospital. We have the Great Lakes International Marine Training and Research Center 
at Georgian College, and of course, my particular favorite, the Owen Sound attack. Your ta task council will be to continue to build on the legacy that those who have served before you established and nurtured. Luckily, you don't have to do it alone. The residents of this city are some of the most engaging volunteers and supporters that you could ever want. The service clubs and other city organizations are amazingly generous and dedicated to providing for this city. Your city staff is a truly committed team that work tirelessly to ensure that all aspects of city services are delivered to the highest level of customer service. Your personal support teams, your family and friends here this evening, will all carry a larger load at home while you dedicate your time to the governance of the city. So Council, congratulations on your election to Owen Sound Council, and I will leave you with the following court, quote from Margaret Mead. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. I would now ask the Honorable Justice Julia Monroe Morneau and the Acting City Clerk, Brianna Bloomfield, to come forward for the Declaration of Elected Office. Good evening, and I wish to thank um, uh, uh, the City of On Sound for asking me back again. It's a total privilege and honor to swear the council in and I've been doing that now for quite a number of years and it's a real privilege. And we start tonight, of course, uh, with our new mayor. Your Worship, if you would come forward. So I'm going to ask each of our new uh, elected uh, councillors and the mayor and deputy mayor uh, to swear their declaration in front of all of you. They're going to read it individually and some choose to use the Bible and some will affirm. And then they're going to have a seat and they're going to sign the declaration and I will sign as a co-signer. So I'll step aside while you read your declaration. Great. Thank you. I, Ian Charles Body, having been elected to the office of mayor in the municipality of the city of Owen Sound, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will, be faith I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing it is in the same force and effect as if made under oath.
Yes, and Miss um, Arlene Wright is our new deputy mayor. Good evening. And I'll have you read your declaration as well, and the Bible is there, and I'll stand aside while you do that in front of the citizens of Olympia. Thank you. I, Arlene Wright, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor in the municipality of the City of Owen Sound, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, and I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously and believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. is uh, Councillor Travis Dodd. I believe you're going to affirm, aren't you? I am. So you just say that you're going to affirm and read. Perfect. Thank you. So I will be affirming. So I, Travis Dodd, having been elected to the Office of Councillor in the Municipality of the City of Owen Sound, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and partially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And I make the solemn promise and declaration, consciously believing it to be true and knowing that it is the same force and effect as if it made under oath. Scott Gregg. I, Scott Gregg, having been elected to the office of councillor in the municipality of the city of Owen Sound, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other, pro other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath.
Councillor Kepke. I, Mary and Irene Kepke, have been elected to the Office of Councillor in the Municipality of the City of Owen Sound to solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. And I make this solemn promise and declaration, conscientiously believing it to be true, and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Lemon. I think you're bringing your own Bible. The family would be happier if you did. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I, Peter Lemon, having been elected to the office of counselor in the municipality of the city of Owen Sound, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise the office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. And I will faithfully and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. I, James Michael McManaman, having been elected to the office of Councillor in the Municipality of the City of Owen Sound, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truthfully, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability, that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act, and I, will be, and I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath.
Councillor O'Leary. I, Brian O'Leary, having been elected to the office of Councillor in the municipality of the City of Owen Sound, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, and I make this solemn promise and declaration, conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. I, Richard Thomas, having been elected to the office of Councillor in the Municipality of the City of Owen Sound, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I would disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true, and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Ladies and gentlemen, your counsel. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Brianna, Ms. Bloomfield. It now gives me great pleasure to call upon Mayor Ian Bodie to come forward to say a few words. Kind of packed in at that table like it's uh, Thanksgiving dinner at the family. We're tripping over each other. Uh, welcome and thank you for coming out on uh, such a beautiful Georgian Bay winter night. So cold. Uh, Judge Marno, um, Reverend Zanting, uh, I believe we have some councillors from surrounding uh, municipalities, our new council, fellow councillors, staff, our families and uh, friends and all citizens of Owen Sound. It is a great honor to be elected as the mayor of this city. Um, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. Um, I'm really intrigued having a chain like this around my neck. It reminds me a little bit of the 70s of the disco era <laughs> and uh, the Copacabana Club at the downtown or hotel. Um, it wasn't me wearing them. Oh. Um, Sorry, Councillor Dodd, you'll have to ask one of the others what, <laughs> what disco was. You know, back then it was okay just to be staying alive, staying alive. I think now we've set our, uh, our goals a little bit higher. 
People told me that uh, my parents would be very proud of me uh, tonight, and it's, it's a transfer of uh, generation, I suppose, and why I mention this. Um, Joan and I are, are more proud tonight of our son Hamish playing with the 8th Street Orchestra, and we think that's so special. And uh, as we make decisions over the next four years, we're going to be making decisions that we hope benefit our children and, and their children down the road. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty special to be standing here and, and having a, a child uh, involved. We thank the Murphy family for, uh, for including him. Although we're looking forward tonight, um, I want to take this opportunity to, um, to sincerely thank former Mayor Deb Haswell, Deborah Haswell, Councillors David Adair, Jan Chamberlain, Colleen Purden, and Bill Twaddle for their service and work for our community. Um, I, we, we all made great friends uh, with them over the last four years. Now, we'll miss that friendship on, on a weekly basis. Um, I, I wish them the best of luck uh, with their future endeavors, and uh, I'm sure we'll see all of them involved in our community. So tonight signals a new beginning with, with a very fresh council. Uh, this is where the hard work begins. The people of uh, Owen Sound have voted for change and it's up to us, the nine of us, together to deliver that over the next four years. I believe that this election sent some pretty clear messages. People of Owen Sound uh, told us that they don't want a dysfunctional council, they don't want lost opportunities, and they will not accept a divided council. I think that was pretty clear. Each of us has an overriding responsibility to serve our city, our community, to the best of our ability, and at all times placing our corporate responsibility and our, our responsibility to uh, our community before our own personal or other interests. We know we won't completely agree in everything. We're not supposed to. We're supposed to come with our own ideas. But we have to keep in mind that uh, we don't let our disagreements paralyze us. We, I believe, have a mandate to grow our population, tax base, and to focus on economic development to create jobs. We want to provide services. We want to provide the best services we can in this town, but we can't necessarily afford the best services unless we can grow and get more taxpayers moving into our town from Georgian Bluffs and elsewhere. Uh, to, to move up to this area and, and grow our economy, uh, get some jobs going again, and, uh, and move forward. Success will not come overnight. We will establish some building blocks in the next four years that will serve us into the future. Some of the decisions we are going to make won't be the most popular, won't be the most popular now, but will be made in the long-term best interest of this city. In closing, Owen Sound is a great city, we all believe that. We have great caring citizens. We have very passionate citizens. We have people that care about what goes on in this community and how to make it better. We sometimes disagree how to make it better, but we all believe we can. I look forward to the next four years working with the community and with the co cooperation of every councillor, staff person. Together we can address the challenges that Owen Sound has and serve to provide a positive outcome for the wider regional community. Thank you. Thank you, Your Worship. I'd now ask Deputy Mayor Arlene Wright to come forward. Oh, I can actually see people out there now. You can't see them when you're sitting over there because of the lights. But anyway, good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, our mayor, your worship, and council, and Judge Morneau, our city manager and staff, and, and I, I want to thank the uh, team that put this evening together. They did a very good job. I sat down this afternoon to write this 
nice address I was going to give, and I thought I did a really good job of it, and, and then the printer didn't work, so I couldn't print it off. So I'm just going to say to all of you, thank you for your support, to thank my friends and my family for the support that they have given me over the years. We have an obligation now. We have an obligation to you, the citizens of Owen Sound. I have an obligation as well to the people of Gray County. I will do my very best to live up to what is expected of me and to do what I can in the best interest of all of the people here. As has been said by our worship, we do live in a wonderful community. Where else would you want to live? So let's make it together the best place that we can make it. Thank you so much, and I wish you all the very merriest Christmas, the best season, and I'm going to ask you all to shop local and help our local merchants. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite each of our counselors to come forward and say a few words. So first, Counselor Travis Dodd. Well, kind of uh, 10 years ago, if I ever thought I was doing this, I'd probably be uh, way off. I never expect this, so this is a great opportunity. Um, first off, I'd like to say thank you for everyone for coming. Um, everyone who's been a part of tonight, it's been a great experience. It's been uh, kind of a breathtaking evening, and uh, it's hard to let it all sink in right now. Um, I'd like to say thank, uh, take this opportunity to say thank you to my family and friends who've uh, supported me since I chose to put my name forward. Um, it's been uh, a great couple months and uh, it's an awesome experience so if anyone else that's got an interest in running in in politics it's a it's a great thing to do whether win or lose um, I would also like to say thank you to the citizens of Owen Sound for giving me this privilege of representing you over the next four years uh, it's something that I, words can't even describe how great this is going to be um, I'm honored to be your representative of the city of Owen Sound and I'm looking forward to working with my fellow councillors and continuing to make Owen Sound the place you want to live so thank you Councillor Scott Gregg. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you tonight very humbled by the opportunity presented to represent you. I am excited to be a part of this knowledgeable, experienced, and energetic team. We have challenges and opportunities moving forward. However, we all share the desire to grow our community further and provide great reason to live in Owen Sound. I have a store downtown, um, and I encourage uh, any residents in Owen Sound uh, to contact me. Uh, I, over four years, I look to be always available to you. You can call me. You can come into my place of employment, see, see me speak with me, uh, I will forever be listening and uh, endeavoring to represent you. Uh, that's uh, in addition with staff and uh, uh, staff who are ratepayers in Own Sound too. I'm there to represent everyone. So uh, we all have great ideas as to how to move forward and grow our community and effectively make it a, a better to live in. Uh, and I uh, promise to be uh, there and listen to all of you. Thank you to the residents of Own Sound for your support. I will serve you with the energy, the commitment, and the integrity which I promised you. Thank you. Councillor Marion Kepke. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, platform guests. It is indeed my privilege to serve our community as a counselor, a role that is not taken lightly. Working for our community has always been an interest of mine, and I sincerely thank those who have encouraged and supported my ideals and values to continue the pursuit of my passion. As council moves forward in an open and transparent manner with a commitment to good governance, 
we need to respect our community's priorities and vision and use them to, as a foundation on which to make our decisions. This isn't about us as a council, it's about us as a community. Thank you to my family, friends, and supporters, and thank you especially to my husband, Gord, for his tireless dedication to my campaign, for believing in me and supporting my efforts wholeheartedly. I want to publicly thank him for his part in being the site coordinator for the Festival of Northern Lights and making Owen Sound a beautiful destination over the holiday season. Congratulations to each of the councillors, and I look so forward to working together with you over the next four years. Thank you. Councillor Peter Lemon. First, let me say thank you very much to the electorate of Owen Sound for their faith and belief in me and for what I stand for. I stand for a community of people who care, and that has been demonstrated so many times in Owen Sound's history. This is a wonderful city, and I believe it's up to council to listen, to consult, and then make the right decision for this community, both on a short-term and long-term basis. We're facing a lot of challenges. We've got to do things differently than we have in the past in order to encourage development, expansion of the tax base, which will make us a better community for each and all of us. I believe in this community, and uh, I think we are in a good position for the future provided we provide the correct zoning and other rules and uh, organizational structure to encourage development within our community. And I will be very brief. The one thing I was looking at before I came here was a photograph of when my grandfather and my great uncle were both on council way back in the 1920s. And at that time, they had 16 councillors plus a mayor and a uh, reeve. So you can imagine how long this meeting would have lasted back then. <laughs> Thank you very much. And may everyone have a wonderfully joyous Christmas. And may we work together to put Owen Sound on the map of success. Thank you. Councillor Jim McManaman. Thank you. I have an awful lot to be thankful for tonight, and I have a lot of people to thank who've helped me along the way. First, I want to thank the residents of Owen Sound who supported me in the election campaign. I hope to continue to keep your trust and earn the support that you've given me. As we move forward, as, as our, our mayor has done, I'm going to have to get used, I was going to say Ian, um, as our worship has done, I think we need to acknowledge the past. To Jan Chamberlain, to Colleen Purden, to Deb Haswell, to David Adair, especially to Bill Twaddle, I've learned a lot from all of you over the years, and I thank you for your years of dedicated service and passion for the city. Thank you to my mother, my brothers, my sisters-in-laws, my nieces and nephews for your support and hard work during the election campaign. I know on some days, maybe many days, probably most days, it's not easy being related to a member of city council. But without your support, I wouldn't be here tonight. I want to thank all the city staff for their support and assist assistance over the last 11 years. The citizens of Own Sound are extremely well served by the many, many dedicated people who work for our city. To the new mayor and my fellow councillors, congratulations. I look forward to working with all of you. We may not always agree on every issue, 
but I hope we can always agree to being respectful of differing opinions. I believe that our attitude on how we approach the issues will be the key to tackling all the challenges we face. To my family, Connor, Lucas, and Kate, thank you. When people ask uh, Kate, what does her daddy do for a living? She says, he goes to meetings. <laughs> I'm sure she has uh, friends, parents of friends who think I'm unemployed, I don't know, but uh, they all helped me during the election campaign handing out flyers. Uh, Lucas had one little mishap where he was running up to a door and his foot got stuck between the house and the concrete steps and he was trapped there. So we did, uh, you know, after a while we wondered what had happened to him and, uh, and then we heard him yelling, help, I'm trapped in the neighborhood. So I'm not sure if I got that neighborhood, uh, if they voted for me or not. But. And finally, I want to thank my wife, Kelly. I'm sure all political spouses in the audience can relate when I say that patience is truly a virtue when you're married to a politician. At the hockey arena, at the, at the coffee shop, at the mall, at a restaurant where, where someone comes up and wants to talk for just a, just a few minutes about their taxes or something like that. I don't say it often enough, but thank you for your inspiration, love, and support. To the people of Own Sound, I say thank you for the confidence you have shown in me over the years. I continue to look forward to the challenge and the privilege of serving you as a city councillor. Thank you. Councillor Ryan O'Leary. You've all heard of the saying, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. I like to think I can work with anybody, and tonight I'm going to work with the crowd. You've all been sitting down. You're all just about seized up. I would ask if you're able, everyone stand up. Just trying to lighten things up a bit here. Don't be nervous, just to loosening up exercises. Everybody two hands up above your head and back down. When I raise my left hand, I want you to clap as loud as you can and don't stop until my hand goes down. Everybody clapping, <laughs> loud as you go. Good job, please be seated. I'd like to thank all my supporters, voters on election day. I'd like to thank my friends and family for all their support during my campaign and on election day, especially my wife Leanne. And I'd like to thank the crowd here tonight. I don't usually ask for much. Tonight I just wanted to accomplish two things. I wanted to get sworn in and I was really, really hoping for a standing ovation. I thank you very much. <laughs> Councillor Richard Thomas. Well, I guess it's real after all. I've been uh, spending the past month uh, wandering around Owen Sound accepting congratulations and thinking, for what? But here we are, and I would like to start by uh, thanking all of my supporters. Uh, my campaign team, who helped me uh, so much during uh, what was a very new experience for me. I'd like to thank my family, my wife Morag, who probably I don't thank often enough for all the support she gives me, or at least for letting me get away with all these crazy things I want to do. My daughter Neve is here, and Neve, it's great to see you here tonight. And my dad, Bob Thomas, is here tonight. And uh, it's, uh, I'd like to thank you, Dad, for everything through all these years. Uh, your support and love, and uh, it's kind of an interesting sidebar here that it's funny to be standing on this stage here tonight making this speech because it was my dad's father, my grandfather, who actually advised Odeon Theatres in 1948 to save the old opera house and had turned it into a movie theatre. So it's uh, kind of an interesting little tie-in uh, for us tonight. Um, I guess that in saying thanks, what I'd really like to do is issue a challenge to the citizens of Owen Sound. Do you know, it is true, we have been elected here as a team to, to lead you and to lead this city into the future, but I don't believe personally that a council or even staff can do it alone. I think it takes a community to change a community. And I would like to challenge Owen Sound to stay as engaged in our process 
in the coming years as you have been during the election. Right? Electing us is just the first step, but we've got a long way to go, and it's going to take all of us working together. Uh, again, I would like to also say that if you have any questions or concerns or problems about what's going on in our city, call Scott Gregg at his store. He'll be happy to help you out with all of that. Thanks very much. So thank you, council members, and again, congratulations. So unfortunately, we had a number of dignitaries who couldn't make it this evening because of prior obligations, but they did send their greetings and congratulations. First, our member of parliament, Larry Miller, who's unable to join us but has sent the following comments. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to thank Ruth Corsi for reading these greetings on my behalf. I think I could have skipped that part. <laughs> I would have been very pleased to have had the opportunity to be here tonight for your inaugural meeting as a newly elected council. I would like to sincerely congratulate all of you on your new positions and successful election campaigns. Having spent time in municipal politics, I understand how tough these campaigns can be, and your hard work has certainly paid off. I would also like to thank all of the candidates who allowed their names to stand in this election, but were unsuccessful. This is truly a central part of our democratic process, and I sincerely hope that you remain active in your community. To all outgoing council members, I thank you for your hard work and service to your community over the past four years. As elected officials, we all share the common goal of working towards growth and prosperity for Owen Sound. There are several important issues that I look forward to working on with this new council, including the Owen Sound Harbor, economic growth, expansion of broadband internet into the area, support for infrastructure, and overall support for the people of Owen Sound. I would like to conclude by again congratulating all new council members and wishing all outgoing council members the best in their future endeavors. In your new roles, feel free to contact me on any issue that you feel I can help with. I look forward to working closely with each of you on the issues that are important to Unsound over the next four years. Thank you, Larry Miller. Our member of provincial parliament, Bill Walker, is also unable to join us but has sent the following comments. As your member of provincial parliament for Bruce Gray Owen Sound, I would like to take the opportunity to thank you for the invitation to attend the 2014 City of Owen Sound inaugural council meeting tonight. On that note, I am spending, sending regrets that I am unable to attend due to commitments at Queens Park. Congratulations on your successful election. As a colleague who is proud to serve the public, I know firsthand what it means to step forward and put your name on the ballot. I also know what it means to accept a leadership role and be responsible and accountable once you have bestowed with this special privilege and honor. To those who are new to the role, I encourage you to balance your new ideas, energy, and enthusiasm with the knowledge, wisdom, and realities that those who have served, elected staff and volunteers may share. And to those who have gained re-election, is my equal hope that you will be open to the alternative thoughts and ways of doing business the new members bring while retaining and communicating the lessons learned and best practices of the past. It is my belief it is dedicated people like you who will help to shape and make our community a better place to live, work, and play. And I commend you for stepping forward for the benefit of others. It is my hope that each of you, as well as collectively, will enjoy your experience and will take pride in the history of your municipality and your council, and that your leadership will ensure the continued health, well-being, and prosperity of the city of Owen Sound. 
I have always enjoyed my close association with our representatives at the local municipal level, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you and your families for your efforts and dedication. I wish you every success in your term of office. Sincerely, Bill Walker, MPP. And from Gray County Warden Brian Milne, on behalf of Gray County Council, I would like to congratulate members of Owen Sound Council on their success in the recent municipal election. Gray County values our close working relationship with Owen Sound, and we look forward to building on that relationship during the next term of council. Once again, congratulations and all the best in the future. Brian Milne, Gray County Warden. I would now ask the color sergeant to prepare to march off the colors. Just before I turn the proceedings over to His Worship, I would like to ask the Georgian Bay Children's Choir to now sing for us. Just while they're gathering, they are now in their 26th season as a choir. It is a community choir for children and youth aged 5 through 18. Their membership is drawn from the Southern Georgian Bay region of Ontario with Owen Sound as their major center. Their choral training program is committed to excellence through education, performance, and competition, and is designed to develop musical skills and a love of choral singing. Tonight, they will be performing two numbers, Love Was Born in a Manger and Come Shepherds, Follow Me, led by conductor Jennifer Potter, Following the performance, I will turn the meeting over to his worship. Please join me in welcoming the choir.
Thank you to the choir. That puts us in the right mood. So item number one, we had no in-camera meeting tonight. I ask for a declaration to move to the regular meeting. So moved. Uh, all in favor? Carried. Um, I believe we're uh, convening with a faith blessing provided by Pastor Harry Zanting, the First Christian Reformed Church, president of the Own Sound and Vicinity um, Ministerial Association. Is he present? He's on his way, sir. He's on his way. Okay. Oh, there we go. Great. Welcome. Well, it's an honor to, uh, um, as president of the Own Sound and Vicinity Ministerial Association, to uh, lead you or to ask for God's blessing as you begin your task here as uh, council and mayor of this community. Uh, you use the Bible for the swearing in, so I have a, just a couple of passages from there, from the book of Proverbs um, 29 verse 4, it says, by justice, now it says a king, I'll change that, um, it says, by justice, a leader gives a country stability. And then a little bit later, it says, if a leader judges the poor with fairness, their throne will be established. And um, so it speaks about justice and fairness. <clears throat> and I think, I hope you will lead us uh, in that way. I think you're called to do that. And I think we need that. But I also know that it's more complicated than just saying justice and fairness. It's a complicated business. And so I'd like to um, lead you in a prayer, uh, asking God to help you in doing that. Shall we pray? Oh God, when it comes to justice and fairness, it is sometimes difficult to discern what that is because there are so many concerns. It is often very complicated and so we pray that you will guide the mayor and the counselors and others as well as they try to discern what justice and fairness is. And then, Lord, as you give them clarity, may they have the courage and ability to carry that out. We pray, too, that you will bring a spirit of unity that works even, though, uh, even through differences. And we pray that you will also grant them a motivation to serve this city and its people. And Lord, equip them with words, ideas, competence, resources, and energy so that they can carry out their task on behalf of this city. Amen. Thank you. Are there are any additional <coughs> items to be added to the agenda tonight from anyone? I'd like to make a comment on the last council meeting on November 17th. Thank you. Any others? Thank you. Um, does anyone wish to disclose any pecuniary interest and advise of the general nature thereof? Seeing none. Um, confirmation of minutes from our November 17th, 2014 meeting. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor McManaman, that the minutes of the regular council meeting held on November 17th, 2014, as printed, be adopted. Any comments, observations? All in favor? Carried. Thank you. Uh, resolution moving council into the Committee of the Whole. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor O'Leary. 
that City Council now go into Committee of the Whole to consider public meetings, deputations, public question period, matters arising from correspondence, reports, matters tabled, motions for which notice was previously given, and other business. Now we're in Committee of the Whole. Public meetings, there's no public meeting. We needed to vote on that, we slipped through that. Uh, we're voting on that resolution to move into Committee of the Whole. All in favor? Carried, thank you. Now we're moving to public meetings, which there isn't any. Deputations, we have no deputations planned for tonight. Public question period. Does anyone have a question for council out there in the public? <laughs> I don't see anybody running to the microphone, but given that I can't see anybody, I'm going to take advantage of that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, correspondence received to which direction of council is required? I understand there's no correspondence received. So we're down to uh, the reports of committee and city staff, consent agenda items. We could maybe ask, uh, yeah, I, think so. I'm just yep. I was just gonna ask for, uh, Councillor Lemon is moving it. I uh, would ask um, acting clerk, Ms. Bloomfield, if she can give us a, an overview of uh, what those items are. Through you, your worship. The consent agenda includes four planning notices for which the city has no comment, as well as correspondence that has been received that is being presented for the information of council. Okay, any comments from anyone? Observations? No, so if we can have a vote, uh, please, to confirm Peter's uh, motion. Good, carried, thank you. Uh, now into staff reports. 12B1 report from the deputy clerk for the 2015 council meeting calendar. Can you advise us of what that is? To you, Your Worship. This report is recommending that City Council approve the 2015 council meeting calendar, which is attached to the report. Early approval provides council, the public, and the media with advance notice of council meeting <coughs> dates. So that sets the uh, council agenda for the, uh, the meeting agenda for the whole year? Yes. Mm. Uh, Councilor McManaman, question? Thank you, Your Worship. To the uh, clerk, the uh, July, in the calendar in July, it only shows one regular council meeting. Any particular reason why there isn't two that month? Yes, we've found in the last few years we've been canceling one meeting in the summer. So in order to prepare staff, we thought it was best, and all those watching that um, we cancel it ahead of time. We just have the one meeting, and we're still having the same number of meetings as in the other years. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll uh, move the recommendation, Your Worship. Okay, and Councillor O'Leary, I think you had your hand up. No, passed. Okay, all in favor of adopting the, the calendar? Good, carried, thank you. Uh, 12B2, also from the Deputy Clerk, with regard to boards, committees, council vacancies for interim appointments. Can I get a report, please? Yes. Through you, Your Worship. In our Boards and Committees bylaw, council terms expire November 30th. Our regular board and committee selection process occurs in January, with appointments taking effect, of, effect February 1st, which leaves two months of council vacancies. There are certain board and committee meetings that will be taking place over the next two months. Therefore, interim council appointments need to be made to ensure that quorum is met. Staff are recommending that Mayor Body be appointed to the boards and committees that the mayor is re required to serve on. The Deputy Mayor Wright, Councillor Lemon, and Councillor McManaman have their terms extended, and that the re remaining council vacancies be filled by al alphabetically pairing the incoming council members with the outgoing council members and extending these terms until January 31st. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, question, please, um, through you, Your Worship, to staff. When in January do you propose to have the appointments, selections of council? It'll be the first meeting in January. The first meeting? Thank you. Any other questions, observations, discussion? Go ahead, Councillor Lemon. Um, the uh, non-council appointees to boards, they will continue until such time as successors are appointed. Correct. So we don't have to do anything on that. No. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, uh, Councilor Kepke, sorry. I will move the motion. Great, thank you. All in favor? Carried, thank you. We have no minutes from boards or committees tonight. There's no in-camera minutes for approval. This is great. I wish every meeting went this quickly. You wish. We're uh, all the way down to other business already, uh, Councillor O'Leary. Go ahead. Yeah. I just wanted to mention that uh, on the 17th of November, the last council meeting, I chose to stay at home and, and follow along on my computer as a practice session. So I didn't get to speak to uh, anyone after the meeting. Uh, there's uh, many speeches and I wanted to send out a big thank you to the four outgoing councillors that spoke. And uh, that was uh, outgoing councillors Purden, uh, Chamberlain, Adair and Twaddle. Um, thank you for not just serving on, this, on council but for the way in which they left. Uh, there's no sour grapes. They wished, um, they thanked their supporters, they, um, they wished the new council well moving forward, and I think that's well worth mentioning here tonight. Thanks. And, and Councillor O'Leary, where did you find those minutes on the, uh, that, uh, that uh, agenda on the internet? Can anybody find that in the internet? It's, yeah. Can anybody follow along it's with our meetings? It's on the city website. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Um, I think we're down to, oh, this is interesting, we're down to a motion that the committee rise Move and report. Move the committee rise and report. <laughs> that has been done by Councillor Adair uh, just about every meeting for the last many years. Um, thank you, Councillor Lemon. Yeah. Yeah, so we do vote in that. All in favor? Carried. Thanks. Back into formal session. Motion to. Resolution adopting proceedings. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Thomas, that the action taken in Committee of the Whole in considering public meetings, deputations, public question period, matters arising from correspondence, reports, matters tabled, motions for which notice was previously given, and other business be confirmed by this Council. And all in favor of that resolution? Great, carried, thank you. Notice of motions. There's no notice of motions. Um, new business by resolution. There's none. 18 bylaws, please. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Dodds, that bylaw numbers 2014 191 and 2014 192 be passed and enacted. Great. And all in favor? Approved. Thank you. And that concludes all our business. We can adjourn. We adjourn. <laughs> yeah, hey. Congratulations. Thank you, councillors. Thank you, Your Worship, for the shortest meeting on record this year, I believe. I'd now invite <coughs> you to listen to the 8th Street Orchestra finale for this evening and join us in the reception area for beverages and I would ask council if you'd like to leave stage at this point. <laughs>